Right now on Andrea Mitchell Reports, Georgia Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker sitting down exclusively with NBC's Kristen Welker after a memorable performance at his first and only debate that included the candidate flashing a badge. Does that have a resting authority or it's an honorary badge? It is an honorary badge, but they can call me whenever they want me and I have the authority to do things for them. The National Sheriff's Association said an honorary badge, quote, is for the trophy case. Why make the decision well, to flash totally, it at the that debate? That is totally not true. In Kyiv overnight, at least four people are dead after Russia strikes the capital again with Iranian drones. Richard Engel joins us from Ukraine. Iran's notorious Savine prison housing Americans and political dissidents on fire this weekend as the women's protests spread around the country. And former President Trump, whose own daughter Ivanka, son-in-law and grandchildren are observant Jews, is facing fresh scrutiny today for his concerning comments about America's Jewish community on social media. Good day, everyone. I'm Andrea Mitchell in Washington. Early voting begins today in Georgia, where residents are deciding between Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker after what was likely their only campaign debate. NBC's chief White House correspondent Kristen Welker challenged Walker on a range of issues, including those controversial abortion and domestic violence allegations barely raised by the moderators or his Democratic opponent in that debate. Herschel Walker providing his most extensive comments about allegations he paid for an ex-girlfriend to have an abortion in 2009. Why not reach out to her and if... Why, why should I? Why do I need to? NBC News has now spoken to that former girlfriend who provided us with what she says is a copy of a $700 check that Walker gave her to pay for the abortion and a receipt from the medical center in Georgia where she alleges it took place. NBC News is not revealing the woman's identity or the documents to protect the privacy of all parties, but we did show a copy of the check to Walker who said the allegation he paid for an abortion isn't true. This is still a lie because she's the mother of my child. So you're going to see me a check or somebody giving a check. So that, that I'm saying it's a lie. Do you I know what see, this $700 check is I have is no for? idea what that can be for. Is that your signature I, on the oh, check, though? Let me see. It could be. But it doesn't matter whether it's my signature or not. When pressed, Walker said definitively for the first time, the check is his. Yes, that's my check. Why should voters believe you in this? Voters moment, should believe work. me because I've been very transparent about everything I've ever done. He has also faced allegations of domestic violence from multiple women, including his ex-wife and his 23-year-old son, Christian, a conservative influencer. He said, and I'll just quote for you, you threatened to kill us and had us move over six times in six months, running from your mm -hmm. violence. You have said you love your son, Christian. Right. Just... For the voters who want to hear an answer to the allegation about yes. violence, okay, I is that say, true? I'm you, what should uh, people voters, know? I would say I love my son Christian. I love my whole family. I'll always love them and stuff. That's what I say for my son Christian. And I don't have any violence. And Kristen Welker joins me now. Kristen, you uncovered so much more during that interview Thank you. Uh, on policy on a lot of whole questions. So uh, let's play more of that conversation that you had with Herschel Walker. This is from my hometown. This is from Johnson County, from the sheriff from Johnson County, which is a legit badge. Does that have a resting authority or it's an honorary badge? It is an honorary badge, okay. but they can call me whenever they want me, and I have the authority to do things for them, to work with them on things. The National Sheriff's Association said an honorary badge, quote, is for the trophy case. Why make the decision well, to flash totally, it at the that debate? That is totally not true. So... You talked about policy and the badge, which he's now using on the campaign trail because crime is something that he's trying to push hard. Tell me about your takeaway. We spoke to Herschel Walker for an hour, Andrea. It was a wide-ranging interview, so he did defend the fact that he flashed that badge on the debate stage. We did talk to the Johnson County Sheriff, who said, yes, he did give him the badge as an honorary badge. It allows him to help out with community support if there is some type of It hardly makes him a law enforcement officer. No, it does not. And he's very clear. He says, look, I never said I was a law enforcement officer. He says he has always maintained he has worked alongside law enforcement in that capacity. We did also talk about some policy, which I think was notable 
table, Andrea, and we talked about his top issue, which is the economy. It's the top issue for Republicans, as you know, as you've reported on all across the country. And I asked him, what's the first thing he wants to do? And he said he wants to work on energy independence. And so those are the types of issues that he's focused on in these final days of the campaign. I also asked him if he's worried about Barack Obama coming to campaign with Democrats. And he said, no, he was pretty defiant. So I think that, look, he's feeling good in this home stretch. Polls show this is a very tight race. But we cannot say this enough. Georgia's really ground zero for whether Republicans or Democrats are going to win the Senate.